Hi, this is Rob from Higher Powered H2O. I um, have a little war chest here for uh, more testing on the Suburban. Uh, you see the yellow Optima deep cycle battery. Uh, this will be another battery. It will take place in my main uh, lead acid battery. Um, and the lead acid battery will be hooked in parallel. Uh, so I'll have uh, two uh, batteries on the Suburban. Uh, you see a uh, 240 amp alternator and the silver box is a completed mega squirt unit uh, standalone fuel injection the one uh, up in the back kind of above the alternator with the red flashing lights is a uh, mega squirt unit that is undergoing its test mode right now the red flashing lights is an engine simulator um, and what it does is tests all the functions of the, the uh, computer and makes sure that everything is good. Now what I'm going to show you is a quick rundown on the software for the engine computer. You see i got a tripod here to keep you guys from getting sick. Uh, hopefully we can see this well. Um, basically I'll give you a quick rundown um, top left screen is engine RPM uh, needles bouncing a little bit there 2000 RPM uh, the one to the right of it is throttle position uh, the one to the right of that is pulse width of the injector pulse in milliseconds the one to the right of that, so top row, right hand corner, is uh, injector duty cycle. Bottom corner, left hand side, engine manifold absolute pressure, your MAP sensor. Uh, one next to that is manifold air temperature, or IAT, intake air temperature. Uh, to the right of that is coolant temp, ECT. And the other one to the right is uh, what they call gamma enrichment and that's a whole different video but what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to sweep see I'll sweep the you know engine RPM from 2000 to 7100 and here's your throttle position sensor uh, voltage sweep um, and you can see the pulse widths and the duty cycles changing with throttle and RPM um, I can mimic, you know, engine coolant temp because that way I can set my program for warm up and where I want my enrichments. And if you look at the very bottom of the screen, you'll see green and red dots. That's your O2. Um, normal circumstances, it will look like this, kind of bounce between uh, stoich and, er, you know, rich and lean, and you'll have what they call an O2 cross count, which is how many times that O2 switches between uh, stoichiometric value. Um, here we have uh, just some of the tools. Um, here's a real-time display so everything's numeric. Uh, I can data log all of this stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you a fuel table, a VE table. Um, see it's a three-dimensional map and uh, that's the program that I'll be controlling for my fuel enrichment. Um, I've actually got multiple tuning programs. Um, this one's not online right now so we'll close that one. But uh, pretty exciting stuff and what this mega squirt is going to do is I'm developing a piggyback system that'll go between your engine computer and um, the engine itself so instead of just changing EFEs or maps uh, we can change the whole thing and it'll be totally emissions legal um, one more thing to show you is I only got the uh, final test version done here and this is the uh, diamond cell um, we'll have numbers for you tomorrow um, basically, you know, typical brick, uh, 
some holes have been rearranged for a better flow and uh, ease of install. Um, has the brass connections, uh, so only have our you know positive and negative. Um, 21 plate, six inch, um, but it can be installed, you know, off camber, off tilter. Um, and I'll get some phone numbers on that, and then it'll be installed in conjunction with my other cell and tested side by side, and then uh, I'll do two standard style cells and then two bricks. A um, lot of testing to come for you guys. Uh, going on a little spin off with uh, some steam testing and uh, um, eff effects of water vapor on the O2s. And uh, it'll be quite uh, interesting information for y'all. But one step at a time. Got to get the Suburban set up. I uh, turns out in my Suburban was only a 65 amp alternator and I was running the cell at 50 and slowly killed my battery so um, it uh, time to step up to the big alternator dual batteries and there will be an isolation circuit and also uh, each cell will be on a voltage sensing circuit if for some reason system voltage goes below 13 volts uh, it will kill one cell at a time to make sure that uh, I don't get stranded um, and that circuit will be available also online for you to build and uh, to purchase also thanks for the uh, subscriptions the questions um, and uh, with everybody's help we're getting all this knocked out really fast uh, God bless and take care